Thank goodness you're here, Officer Buff Santa. And that's when the school bus crashed. So I told the driver that I would go try to find a phone. And that's when I knocked on the door of these jokers. Wait, why are we stopping? Okay, Officer Buff Santa, I was kind of in the middle of my tale of woe. Help, the prisoners are escaping. They're carrying me like a sack of spuds. Things have taken a turn. And there I was thinking the nightmare was over, but this family is determined to hold me prisoner. Someone is severely underestimating my desire to go to camp. Well, look out, you bunch of wannabe prison guards, because I have a hammer and I am not afraid to use it. Who's that? Excuse me, Mr. Prison Guard, have you got a cross-eyed toddler who lives in the vents? You know what? Don't answer that. The vents don't seem so safe anymore, so I'm just gonna go for a sewage escape. It's a classic for a reason. I gotta find Officer Buff Santa. I gotta escape this prison. I need to make it back to the school bus crash. Assuming there are no major injuries from the car accident, I'm still thinking that we could make it to camp, possibly. Anyone responsible for this weird baby? They're loose in the vents and impersonating a prison officer. All right, come here. I'm gonna find your parent. Okay, they've disappeared completely. Oh, that's good. That's reassuring. No need to panic. I'll just forget about the uh, cross-eyed baby in the prison guard uniform. It is possible that I hit my head during the school bus accident and I'm now experiencing hallucinations, which possibly explains that green monster. I'm just not gonna make eye contact. If I just pretend that it's not there and I didn't see it, maybe it'll go away. So this like acid mist is really not filling me with confidence that I'm going to get out of here in one piece. But if you are rooting for me to escape, if you think I can make it out of here and get to summer camp, give this video a thumbs up. The encouragement does wonders for my confidence. Sometimes we all need a little bit of positive reinforcement. What was the point of pushing that ball? I don't really understand. Oh look, it's displaced the water. The water's rising. Oh my gosh, it's genius. Now I can safely jump onto the crates. Gotta keep my wits about me. It's not like this whole prison escape is gonna be that easy. I sure wish I knew what that family was thinking. Now will she play with me? Yes, Angel. It's hard making new friends, but we finally trapped one. Definitely worth crashing that school bus. Maybe they just hate it when people knock on the door. Maybe they don't have a phone. Obviously, the locking me in a makeshift prison aspect of it is a bit of an overreaction, but I probably shouldn't have bothered them at home. Out of the sewers and into the... waiting room? I mean, it is better than the sewers. What am I supposed to do if I run into somebody from that weird family? I don't know if we can work out some sort of mutual forgive and forget situation where they forgive and forget that I knocked on their door and then fought their baby, and I will forgive and forget this whole trapping false imprisonment situation. I don't know if I am biased, but I think that is even Steven. Wow, what is happening in this bathroom? This is the most irresponsible use of electrical plugs I have possibly ever seen. If you are a master of safety and you can spot some serious hazards in this room, comment them in the comment section. See how many hazards you can spot. I am like counting them on my fingers and I am running out of fingers. I would show you some more hazards, but I am terrified for my life, so... Oh no, this doesn't look better. <laughs> what is this? Killer steam? I don't understand what happened to Officer Buff Santa. Did he notice me being carried off by that weird family like a sack of potatoes? Or was he just too busy having a chitty chat with the parking booth attendant? It's just turning out to be a lot harder than I expected to get a little bit of help and use the phone. But I am nothing if not resourceful, so I might just take this ladder, see if I need it to climb over any ledges. Oh, look, a ledge. I like that they've like painted a big old picture of a ladder on the wall, as if I wouldn't be able to figure out what to do here. Uh oh, I do not have a good feeling about this room. Oh good, it's you. Exactly who I was hoping to see. So I was wondering how you might feel about a forgive and forget situation. Not good, not good, he says. It's not really a whole lot of negotiating I can do with the nightstick, so I guess we're back to the original plan, which is run away, run away very quickly and escape. My dude, I can barely understand a word you're saying. It's like he's muttering something about, about kids. Ah, oh, those dang kids. Seems to be the vibe. Let me get out of your hair. I will literally show myself out. Okay, just, I'll, I'll go in the vent. I know there's like a weird cross-eyed toddler in the vent, but oh my gosh, I didn't expect them to be actually right there. Are we gonna disappear or, yep, we're gonna just disappear. On the upside, that weird prison guard wannabe man did not manage to follow me into this room, so we love that. Let the great escape continue, I guess. At least it's fun. I get to float up some air vents and, ooh, what's this? Oh my gosh, I can climb right across. Wow, I feel like a spy. I feel like I'm committing subterfuge. 
I'm like, you want to see Prison Escape? I'll show you Prison Escape. Check out my upper body strength. Oh, thank goodness, the cafeteria. I am so hungry. Oh, wait, she hasn't noticed me. And there's a sandwich. Is she pretending not to see me? Or is she sleeping with her eyes open? I don't really care, I just want sandwich. Wait, what? This isn't a sandwich. This is a sandwich gun. And now she's throwing food at me. And screeching. And cackling like an evil witch. Hey, what's that written on the wall behind her? Help me. Who wrote that? It wasn't me who wrote it, and that means there's somebody else inside of this prison. I gotta find them. Maybe we can work together. Or at least we could work together if this gal would just stop throwing bananas at me for like one minute. Let a girl catch her breath. But can you just like cool it with the food fight? I am trying to conspire with some other prisoners. Uh-oh, that doesn't seem good. Lots of explosions. And she's gone. And the message on the wall is also gone? What just happened? That's a bit weird. I'm kind of doubting my memory. Did anybody else see some words written somewhere around here? I swear it said help me. Let me know in the comment section if you saw that. I've got a feeling there's somebody else in this prison and I need to try to find them. Guess I'll just add rescue other prisoner to my burgeoning to-do list. A modest to-do list. It's like to-do. Rescue victims of school bus crash. Uh, escape prison. And then of course we'll add to the bottom here, uh, locate and rescue other prisoner. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do about old mate just waiting at the top of the wooden planks here for me with his nightstick. Guess I just run for it, and he's not even chasing me, is he? I guess he just wanted to stand there and look threateningly? Confusing priorities in that family, I'm telling you. For all I know, he could have actually just been sleeping with his eyes open. That seems to be something of a trait in this family. So probably the best option for me is to just try to avoid detection. I'm actually super impressed that I made it outside. What are the chances we've got like a helicopter and- oh. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. I don't, I don't even know that she can see me. This family's weird. Like, where even are we? Is this their, like, summer home? Their weird vacation house that they've converted into a private prison for unknown reasons? Some more dodgy electrical work on the roof here. I don't like the look of all that electricity. You just generally should not be able to see the electricity coming off of the wires. Let's see if I can do this safely. Imagine I come all this way and just crush myself. Oh, that seemed good. <gasps> it opened the door. Boohoo! I guess we're going back in the building. I was kind of hoping for like a helicopter situation on the roof, but this is, this is fine actually. Uh, what's this? Actually, maybe it's not fine. I'm starting to get like a really bad feeling. Play with me. I brought you here to play. What? Why didn't you just ask? You could have invited me over after school. There was no need to- Ooh. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Okay, my pals, I think I might have cracked this mystery wide open. I believe I may have been trapped in this prison to serve as some sort of playmate for this gigantic child. And, of course, her enormous robot dog. Wow, that really is the creepiest laugh I've ever heard. And they are right behind me. This is not good. At least I know they can't fit through this door. All right, a moment of relief. Wow, I know that some people's parents can be really involved in their kids' friendships, but I've never heard of anything like this. I just don't think it's a great strategy for helping your child make friends. What if you threw a super cool birthday party? Or invited some classmates to the beach? There's just heaps of other options besides the kidnapping. Wait a second, a key. That was scary. What do we think this does? I mean, it's big and it's gold and it's shiny and I'm definitely gonna keep it at- Oh my gosh! Officer Buff Santa? I didn't know that was funny, but you are a sight for sore eyes and I'm so glad you've still got your sense of humor. Do you want me to get the door? Oh, Officer Buff Santa is so buff he can literally just run through the wall. A good person to have on your team when you're in a prison break situation. Hey, where'd he go? Oh no, Officer Buff Santa, we've only just been reunited. I thought we might escape together. I didn't realize I was gonna unlock your cage and you were just gonna save your own hide. Oh no, wait, is he over there? I don't exactly know how he like teleported to the other side of the room, but I'm just not gonna question it too much. I'm honestly just happy he's still here. I just don't wanna have to do this alone. Especially not when there's still that weird baby in the vents. All right, come on, Officer Buff Santa. Don't be afraid of the cross-eyed toddler. Yes, I know he's very scary, but he seems to reliably disappear. Like as soon as I come around the corner. Not really sure what Officer Buff Santa is doing hanging around back there, but I'm not going to slow down my prison escape. I've done my due diligence. I unlocked that cage. I came back for the extra prisoner and I got to get to the rest of my to-do list. And oh my gosh, how did it happen? Now that deranged baby wants to play with Officer Buff Santa. I got to help him. I think this family could be dangerous. This is not a normal way to find a play date. Oh no, chaos begins, chaos reigns. Eee, I feel mean shooting the robot dog with a 
water gun, but she really is charging at me, isn't she? And all the maniacal laughter. I can't stand the maniacal laughter. How much water do you need to short circuit a robo dog around here? Oh, I think I might have finally got it. Creating my own electrical hazards, and why did they disappear and turn into a key? Now those parents are gonna be so angry at me because I have accidentally turned their child into a key? No need to think about that too hard. Just gonna unlock Officer Buff Santa. Okay, try not to get kidnapped by a toddler again as we try to escape. If you wanna just stick to hulking through doors and walls, that's just fine. I'll handle the rest. So we'll go up to the surface and then just like max hulking. Just like hulk straight through the wall. I want to see like a man-shaped hole in the wall and then I will escape through the hole. And then if we could return to the school bus accident and maybe get me to summer camp, that would be amazing. And oh my gosh, we're finally outside. This is amazing. Oh, this is not amazing. Do you think they know that I short-circuited their brother? Oh no, this looks dangerous. Okay, a big jump. And can they make it? Oh, I don't think they can. Oh my gosh, they're just all going into the pit. Okay, bad luck, but I just gotta remember, they're not real dogs, they're robo-dogs. Obviously, you can still have an attachment to a robot and oh, look who it is. All right, so she didn't turn into a key after all. Oh, and there's many of her. Oh, good. The nightmare just keeps nightmaring. And to make things worse, I believe I have lost Officer Buff Santa again. I'm like, who's the adult here? Aren't you supposed to be helping me play a little b-ball while I wait for him to emerge from wherever exactly he is? Ooh... This escape is getting a little bit sporty. I didn't know that I was coming to the batting cage. <laughs> Does this mean that Officer Buff Santa was just here? Was he doing a bit of batting practice or... What was that say? Oh, I do love a lever. Oh, did that just turn off all of the lights? Hopefully that means the family won't be able to find me, but also might mean that Officer Buff Santa has a hard time finding me. Oh, thank goodness, a shovel. This could be a tool. This could be a weapon. I could dig a hole out of prison. Oh my gosh, she's tunneling. She's tunneling. Where am I supposed to go now? Well, this is embarrassing. I thought I was tunneling and now I'm just down a hole. Oh, maybe that did something. Oh, wait, I'm back on my tunnel game. We've got Sky. We've escaped. When I say we, I mean you and I, because I don't know what happened to Officer Buff Sanded. Oh my gosh, he's here. What's this for, my dude? What's with the sinister laughter? <gasps> oh no, this isn't good. He has an armored vehicle. But this is not a fair fight. You are a grown man in a tank, and I am a girly pop who has had a very hard day. This is a disaster. Look at that beautiful moon. I thought I was going to be kayaking on the lake right now, not fighting this guy. I'm going to ask one last time. Can I use your phone? Maybe before you finish exploding? Never mind, he's already gone. This is ridiculous. You know what? I'm going to take your car. I'm going to take it and I'm gonna drive it all the way to camp.